Good morning. It is Sunday, and oh, and the Bo and I are heading to Home Hardware, Lowe's, and then do some groceries because I am this close to finishing my desk, but I need to get some nails to actually um, secure the panels in place, and I also need a new pull for the drawer and then I'm gonna have to paint it. So this close to finishing it, which I'm very excited about, I kind of left it alone for a couple weeks there. So very close to finishing it. Okay, I'm at Lowe's now and they totally redid their entire hardware section. So now these are the poles that they have and they don't have a bright brass version. They just have this like brushed gold version, which doesn't match the rest of my hardware. So now I'm on the hunt for a bright brass version of this. Okay, we are home and I am going to, well, one, finish doing laundry, but also, sorry, it's playing music. I'm also going to uh, work on my desk a little bit. So I got the nails from Home Hardware, but as you saw it probably in the previous clip, they did not have the brass pole that I was looking for. So I want a bright brass pole to match all of the other hardware that I'm putting on. So I'm gonna try Home Depot, and if not, I might have to order it online. Okay, step one, I'm currently using a garbage bin here, but I had my dad cut up this huge, long piece of wood into six pieces for these windows. So aside from having to pry these, this glass out, my first step is cutting these down to size. So they are just slightly too tall for these panes. So I'm gonna mark them and then have the bow cut them. Then I'm gonna sand these. Then I'm going to cut these pieces to kind of hold these in place um, and then paint it. That's the goal. Okay, this is what it looks like. So I have to paint it, but it turned out really nicely. Uh, let me just flip it over so you can see this side. So I um, put in the nails to frame this in, and yeah, I'm really happy. The inside doesn't look perfect, but that's okay, um, because the exterior is uh, really what's important, and it looks really good. Okay, we are on our way to my parents for dinner and then we're gonna go on a bike ride. I have done two coats of paint on the uh, desk cabinet door and I should be able to put the hardware on it this evening, hopefully, fingers crossed. And the only thing I need to do now is procure a bright brass pole for the actual drawer and then I will be done for now. Hello, I am, um, I just finished a bike ride. Um, the bone and I actually went on a bike. So there's a trail that we're, it's a really long trail. And the bow wants to get from one end of the trail to the other, but just in case, cause I can't do the entire trail, especially in my outfit, I wasn't really thinking ahead. Um, so he's gonna try to do the entire trail but just in case, I am taking the car to, I guess, catch up to him in case he can't quite make it. Otherwise, I will be picking him up at the end. Okay, successfully picked up the bow. He is just right there, putting his bike on our bike rack. Um, yeah, so I guess we're gonna head home now. I went to this Tim Hortons because all I freaking want after a bike ride is um, an ice cap, but the ice cap machine was broken and I went last weekend and it was broken and this weekend it was still broken. Hello. Hello my love. Where is the strap? It's already attached. <laughs> He's talking about the strap that goes around the bike so that they don't sway as much. Okay we're home. I'm currently on the floor because I am going to put my desk together. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks so good painted. It actually um, turned out really nice. I love the fact that this is no longer glass. I really like the glass, but I just like this. It looks a little bit better. Plus it was a lot easier than actually putting glass in here. Um, so now I'm going to put in 
these hinges. So I'm gonna put them right here. Hopefully these holes work out well. If not, I'm gonna have to fill them in. Good morning and happy Monday. It's Monday now. I'm almost finished my desk. Almost finished. I still have to get a a piece for it, a hardware pull, but I'm almost there. Anyway, I thought I would um, just do my hair. My battery's probably gonna die before I finish this. I'm heading home now and I am so excited to go home and watch Game of Thrones, although I hate the internet because they've already spoiled one thing for me and I feel like it's the biggest thing that happened on this week's episode. But nonetheless, I'm excited to see the entire episode. The eclipse happened today and I actually saw a little bit of it, but one of my coworkers had uh, eclipse um, sunglasses. No, they weren't really sunglasses, they were almost like those paper 3D uh, glasses that you used to be able to get at the theater. Now they've switched them to plastic, but these were the paper ones. And it allowed you to look at the sun and, and see the eclipse and it was really cool. I didn't see it at 100% totality, um, but it was still pretty neat. Anyway, that has been my day so far. Saw a bit of the eclipse. Heading home now to watch Game of Thrones and have dinner. I don't remember what the bone and I are having for dinner, but. Oh, you guys might notice I'm wearing my Dean Davidson ring today. It's been a really long time since I've worn it because apparently my fingers grew like five inches. I had to get it sized up. And for whatever reason, because this isn't really gold, which was really annoying. I thought it would at least be gold plated, but apparently it was a brass. So for the price that you're paying, you're paying about, I don't know, $200-ish for this ring. And granted, it's a really nice ring. I was just annoyed that it wasn't even gold plated. So I don't know what happened to it, but you can tell that it's no longer like that brushed gold look. It is um, kind of a silver. So you can see on the bottom maybe, this is the color it's supposed to be. Um, and then it's not that color anymore. I'll show you guys a little bit closer up um, when I get home, but that was just a little annoying um, because you know, you pay so much for something and you know, you know what you're getting into because at the price point, you know you're not getting like obviously a solid gold ring. However, I at least thought it would be freaking plated gold and not just brass. But I digress. This is just a close-up look at the ring. So this gold is what it used to look like all the way around, but as you can see, it's turned into this kind of grayish silver. But still looks good. It's just no longer gold. I feel like it's been a while since I've done an outfit, so I thought I'd show you guys what I wore today. Uh, it's incredibly warm today, so not the best outfit choice, but it's cold in the office, it's just warm outside. Um, this sweater is a really light um, looseness sweater from Loft, and then I'm wearing just a Joe Fresh uh, cotton tank top underneath, and then the skirt is from H&M. It's just a basic pencil skirt and then shoes are nine west it is tuesday now and i'm in the car and it's supposed to be disgusting today yesterday was very humid and today it's also supposed to be humid but it's gonna thunderstorm allegedly so i'm just wearing this dress that i got from dex i'm sure you guys have seen it many times before i feel like i wore it probably in last week's vlog or the vlog before and i just like it it's like really easy dress to wear um i brought a cardigan because when it's humid like this, the office feels ex especially um, chilly and cold. Anyway, I'm heading to work. I just um, stopped by McDonald's to pick up some coffees. I got a large today. Normally I would get a medium, but I feel like I need a large. I went to the gym this morning. Uh, I usually, the one I usually go Tuesdays to Fridays in the morning before work. It's just really difficult to get back into the swing of it after not going for three days and I like to go on the weekends but sometimes I just um, can't make the time. Something I noticed though is that the Bo and I leave for the gym around 5.45, 5.50 and it was still pitch black outside. So in the beginning of the summer, midsummer maybe, whenever we would go to the gym it would actually be sunny, the sun would have risen already but this morning it was still really dark. Um, the days are getting shorter. Good morning, I am heading to work now and I'm actually going to work a little bit early today. It is about seven now. I'm already on the road. Normally I wouldn't head to work until 
by 7.30, so I'm just, I'm going to work a little bit earlier than normal. I am going to get myself a coffee though, because I need it. My boss and I are going to go for lunch today, and then we have a bunch of meetings, but that's kind of unrelated to why I'm going to work early. Oh, but I am wearing the new sweater that I picked up at Zara on the weekend, and I'm wearing it with my new pants from Uniqlo. I didn't get a chance to do an outfit this morning, but I will show you guys after work what I wore today. I'm just, I'm very happy that I picked up this sweater. I definitely want to get every color. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with this sweater. Um, it's not particularly groundbreaking. I mean, and it's not even made out of you know any fancy material. Um, I think it's like a combination of maybe viscose and cotton. I could be totally making that up. But I just love the style of it, and um, it's so easy to wear. And you guys know I have an affinity for knits. It's just perfect because I can wear it in the summertime because it's short sleeve, and then I can also wear it in the fall and winter because it's still a knit sweater, and I can just layer over it. But yeah, I'm really happy with this, and um, yeah, this will be my third one, and I kind of want to pick up black. And um, what was the other one that I wanted to? Maybe it's like a khaki green? I don't remember. I might even pick up a backup of the cream color, the Acru color, because I, you guys know me, I'm very clumsy and I'm bound to stain my current one with something and then I'll be very, very sad. But I haven't decided yet. I just got in the door and I thought I would show you my outfit very quickly. So this is what I wore. So this is the sweater that I got from Zara, as I mentioned earlier. And I really like it. I love the colorway. I think it might actually even be showing up a little bit more orangey. Um, but anyway, these are the pants. They're the Palazzo pants from Uniqlo. And this is my outfit in its entirety. And I just really like this outfit. I love these pants. I love this outfit. I love this sweater because it's so comfy. Oh, I should also tell you guys that uh, this Longchamp bag, which I use as a work bag, I have a pink one, but it's like so old now that I rarely ever use it. So I got this from Costco and it was only $129.99, which if you've ever bought a Longchamp bag before, you'll know it's actually a really good deal, especially compared to prices that you would have to pay if you went to somewhere like Holt Renfrew. Uh, $129 is pretty good and it comes in the classic colorways. So this is the navy. They also had the black version, the taupe. Uh, so this is in size large. They also had the small size, but only in two different colorways. I don't know about Costco in the States, but Costco Canada carries this, and I will link that below if you're interested. Okay, I'm in my beauty room, and I feel like this is a little bit more true to color with the lighting. Uh, so this is how the top looks and um, the pants. So yeah, I like the ribbon at the waist. They're like high-waisted palazzo pants, and they're just so fun. Okay, it is, um, well, six o'clock-ish, and the bow and I are now heading for a Friday. Is that better lighting? I feel like this is probably better because the sun's over here. Um, we're going to a place called, S I was gonna say spork and spoon. It's actually spoon and fork. <laughs> Good morning, happy uh, Saturday. Um, the boat and I are heading to action again because my hitch is still not correct. So it was difficult to see it yesterday when I went to pick up the car, um, but then when I took it home, it was, it was basically like they didn't even touch it. In fact, they actually made it worse because today when uh, the Bo and I were washing the car, um, I noticed that the exhaust cover is actually loose because they didn't put it on properly. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the exhaust cover that I was talking about, so it shouldn't move. <laughs> it, there's another one on the other side and that one is screwed in properly, but this one is not. And then also our hitch is still slightly angled downward. I like it because it's gray. Okay, we're in our third tile place, and so far they've all been kind of similar. Um, we found something we liked at the first place, and there's a couple that we like here. Our second place, um, yeah, didn't really see anything, but again, they just carried very similar styles. It was just 
So yeah, we're looking for a tile for the floor and also for the shower walls and I really like kind of the clean, minimalistic, um, almost marble look but we're looking to get uh, porcelain styles because marble is a little bit slippery. Oh, hello. It's now Thursday morning. Um, yeah, yesterday the Beau and I were just at um, some more tile places and I think we're going to make our final decision on Saturday which, um, fingers crossed, means that all the tile will come in before our contractor cut gets here. We kind of, um, it's hard to look at tile places. I think maybe I um, ranted about this before, but they usually close at 5 o'clock or 5.30 and it's just hard to juggle going to those places and then working a full-time job. But uh, I think we're going to finally make our decision on Saturday and then we'll be ready. I think the only thing left we have to figure out is the light fixture that we're going to put in the bathroom. We have our tub picked out. Well, hopefully by this weekend, our floor tile and our wall tile. Um, I already decided on a vanity, which I love. Um, it has this beautiful um, quartz top. I originally, I was gonna do maybe a marble or a granite, but I really fell in love with this quartz top. And what else? Um, I've already decided on my paint color. Um, a lot of the fixtures we're going to reuse because they were new. We, we bought them when we first moved in and I really like them. And I've already decided on my mirror slash medicine cabinet because I, I'm not going to have as much, I guess, counter space. So I'm going to need um, space in the way of a medicine cabinet to actually put all my skincare in. And I really like that idea anyway. Um, I love just having a medicine cabinet to open up and then having all your skincare there rather than kind of cluttered on the counter, which uh, I tend to do currently. Um, and then, yeah, light fixture is the last thing, but I've already decided on the style of light fixture I want. I just need to um, find one. Anyway, I have to do my makeup super quick. So as I'm doing my makeup, I'm going to give you guys a little update. Um, I will list all the products that I'm using down below in case you're interested, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, so the Beau got a new job. Um, he starts in a couple of weeks. He got the new job hmm, probably two weeks ago now, and he gave three weeks notice at his current organization. So we're going to have essentially a week from when he leaves his current job to when he starts his new job, and we are going to take that time to go on a trip. Originally, we were going to take a two-week trip or holiday in October, but um, the boat won't be able to take the time because, well, he, he could, but he doesn't want to take the time so soon after starting a new job. So we are just going to take the week before he starts a new job. And then I am going to take a week in October with my mom, which I'm really excited about. My mom and I haven't really traveled together in like two, three, probably three years now. And, um, my mom's a hoot. I love her so much. I love her not just because she's my mom, but because she's my friend. <laughs> Um, so the Bo and I are going to go to, if you uh, follow my personal Instagram, um, I kind of announced it yesterday. But the Bo and I are going to be going to Montreal and Quebec City on a road trip. Uh, originally our plan was to actually do a road trip um, to the East Coast and go to Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and uh, PEI. But um, since we only have a week now, we won't be able to go all the way to the East Coast because we just won't have any, any time. And I want to actually take the time to explore those provinces because I've never actually been out there for prolonged periods of time and uh, I was really excited so we're just gonna defer that to another time um, but we are going to take a road trip to Montreal and Quebec and then my trip that I'm taking in October with my mom is super exciting I'm gonna take my mom to Paris because he's actually never been so I'm really excited to be able to take my mom there because yeah she's always wanted to go and just like timing wise or um just like life getting in the way she hasn't been able to so i'm excited for that and my mom's also really excited and um that makes me happy too so yeah i'm doing a week in september with the bow and then a week in um october with my mom that's kind of my little life update 
um, on what I'm doing. So I guess the vlogs are going to get slightly more exciting in the upcoming weeks because of um, those trips that we're taking. Other than that, I've just been working. We are preparing for our reno, um, then we are going to be going on a trip, and then when we get back, they're both starting a new job, and then that following weekend, our um, bathroom reno start, and then yeah, work for a couple of weeks, or Thanksgiving, and then in October, my mom and I are going on a trip. And I really want to plan the trip really well. I want it to be really structured because there's just a lot of places to do and see, and we're only there for six, six or seven days. I can't remember, I think six nights and seven days, kind of similar to the Montreal trip. And I just want to make sure that everything that my mom wants to see, we get to see, just in case we don't get a chance to go back. You guys, I still have to show you my desk. I have to clean it up first, but I'm really excited about it. And here is like a quick look at my outfit because I feel like it's been a while since I've done a work outfit. So sweater is from Uniqlo. It's just like this really thick cable knit sweater. It is starting to get cool outside, which is a huge bummer. Um, this bag is from Madewell. Someone asked about it in one of my past videos. Skirt is H&M. Shoes are Steve Madden. And then just my long strap bag that I used to house all my other stuff that I can't fit in this little crossbody. I'm heading home now and as you can see I'm well maybe you can't tell but I'm driving the Bose car because my car is currently getting an oil change so um, it's Friday of a long weekend I left work early oh my god work was such a shit show today um, I was just really busy something came up and I was planning on leaving earlier but having had a chance but I'm leaving now but I am leaving now to head home and then gotta pick up my car and then the Bo and I are probably gonna go on a Friday. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I should also say that this morning it was freaking freezing out. So I actually wore my leather jacket. Also, in case you're wondering, the lipstick I'm wearing today is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's their Matte Revolution lipstick in Walk of Shame. I really like this. It's kind of more of a reddy brown. Um, it's a little bit more red than Bond Girl, but I really like this. I also really like this mix with Bond Girl. It's just a really nice combo. Good morning, it's Saturday now, and the Bo and I are just on the road. We're heading to Yorkdale because uh, you want to go to Uniqlo. This new collection with a French designer um, came out yesterday, and I saw this trench coat that I really, really wanted to check out and see if they're ha they have it available. At they're supposed to have it at Yorktale, so um, it launched yesterday, so hopefully they still have um, it in stock. Um, when I called yesterday, um, they said they still had a bunch, so if I go first thing today, uh, hopefully they'll still have a bunch left. Um, the mall opens at 9.30, it's like 9.40 now, and we'll probably be there in about 15 minutes. Anyway, we have a busy day today because we have to pick up a whole bunch of stuff for our bathroom reno. Um, we are picking up our vanity, we are getting our medicine cabinet, um, we're deciding on a tile. And then we're going to place an order today on whichever one we decide. So we're going to go to a couple more places and then um, make our final decision on a floor and wall tile. And yeah, so just like a busy day. Um, it's a long weekend too, so the roads are kind of busy. And that's why we had to take an early start to the day. Um, if you're wondering, on a side note, that I, yes, I am wearing the same sweater that I wore yesterday. Don't judge me. Um, I am wearing a different lip color though. Today I'm wearing my beauty, I think it's the Amuse Bouche lipstick in Ver Verbana. I actually quite like it. And what else is new? Oh, yesterday, I didn't get to vlog um, after dinner, but I did take a bit of footage during dinner. We went to Lone Star. I've actually never been to Lone Star, but the Bo has. And he had uh, the fajitas. I had this grilled chicken burger, which was super good. And I also had a side of a poutine, which was also pretty good. Um, the burger was good. The poutine wasn't really super memorable, but I really liked the burger. Um, but yeah, that's what we had for dinner yesterday. Uniqlo, I'm in their change room whispering because there's other people here and I don't want them to think I'm a weirdo. But I am going to try on some pants. I already found the trench coat that I liked. I tried it on perfect. There's only actually one left in my size, so I guess I kind of looked out. Okay, successful trip to Uniqlo. Um, I got the jacket that I wanted. I wanted to also get these wool pants from the collection, but they were so freaking itchy. But they were in a great colorway. There's two that I was 
actually considering getting. Um, one was like this gray, um, maybe gray chevron or like a check pattern and the other one was navy but I put them on and even though it has a silk lining it was so freaking itchy like I was I wasn't even moving around and my legs were getting itchy so those were out but I did happen to score a cashmere sweater thanks to the bow um, the men's cashmere sweater is essentially pretty much unisex there's not too much of a difference um, but I got one in an extra small and like a cream a crew color and normally it's $99 but this one was on sale for $49 and it's so soft so I'm really happy about that and I'll show you guys the trench coat that I got when I get home uh, yeah I really really like the style and I'm excited to wear it I'm gonna bring it on my trip to Paris Okay, we're at Ikea. We just finished having a hot dog. Uh, we're sharing a coffee, then we're gonna get Froyo, but that's after we walk around. We're gonna check out the bathrooms for inspo, um, but I just saw some of the incandescent, or no, LED bulbs with the filaments, and it's really cool. Yeah, I, I really like that. So the and I are just checking out some of the bathrooms for inspo, and I saw the God Morgan medicine cabinet that I want, and it looks really good. Okay, this is the mirror, um, but yeah, it just looks really good because it's a mirrored finish on the inside too. Okay, it has so many um, cute brass accessories. Um, they're really upping their style game. Okay, we borrowed um, the Bose parents' car. They have a slightly bigger SUV than me, so um, we need to borrow it to bring our vanity home. Um, we just stopped by McDonald's, and um, if you download their app, they have a promo where you can get uh, either a six-piece chicken McNugget um, pack or a Big Mac, or I feel like something else. There's like three options, I think. No, just two. Oh, just a Big Mac or six piece chicken McNuggets for a dollar. So if you haven't already taken advantage of that, then you should. You just have to download their app and then wait maybe five minutes and until the um, promotion loads up on the app. Um, but I did get this uh, mango pineapple smoothie and it's so good. I just really like it. Okay, we went to a tile place and I really liked a floor tile there. However, we're gonna go to this one of the first places that we went take a look one more time at their floor tile um, but for sure we're gonna get our wall tile from there because I really really liked it um, we are just now at the place where we picked up our vanity uh, waiting for them to um, have it ready and they're gonna stick it in the back and then we're gonna drop it off at home and what else are we doing today babe Costco. we're going to Costco okay, success vanity is here um, it's actually really cool how they do it they use um, a hydraulic low lift in order to get it into the car but how the bow and I are gonna get this out of this car and into the house is um, gonna be a challenge it's about like 145 140 pound box um, and it's not even the weight it's just it's so awkward because it's huge so that'll be fun okay we're home it is definitely no longer sweater weather and I'm sweating but we did manage to bring this vanity inside <laughs> Um, it was hella awkward as anticipated, but we're just gonna open it up and obviously double check that it's cool. Also got our um, God Morgan medicine cabinet and look at these fun LED light bulbs. I'm so excited. I know exactly which um, light fixture I'm gonna stick these in. Uh, however, I did, did not anticipate the God Morgan being so tall, so hopefully I can use the same light fixture otherwise I'm just gonna have to find one that this works in because I love the look of these so I thought we would have to assemble this but turns out it's already pre-assembled um, the only thing that has to be put on are the actual doorknobs and then the um, you have to cock the backsplash but this is the quartz top that um, I chose and I just love it because it has these um, like mirrored specks in it and I thought they were really fun Okay, we have finished putting away all of our stuff and I thought I'd show you what I picked up at Uniqlo. So this is a cashmere sweater. So it is um, a men's, but it's a fairly unisex style. I mean, it is maybe a little bit um, looser than the ones I would get from the women's section, but it was $49 and I love the color of this. I actually don't own a cashmere in this colorway yet, so it's good. Plus we're getting into sweater, sweater weather, so um, 
can't uh, say no to another cashmere in the collection. Okay, here's the jacket. It is from the collection. Um, I don't remember the designer's name, but I will stick it here. It's a French designer. And I just really liked it because it's a cropped um, twill cotton jacket. And it's like a perfect transition piece. Um, it does have a belt, but it's just kind of looped um, in some wrapping at the back. Uh, very plain on the inside, uh, but I just really liked the look of it. And um, it's quite boxy when it's open like this. And uh, it does uh, take a little bit of shape when you button it up and then you put the belt around it. This one was 129. Sorry, there's some flies flying around because we had our front door open to get our vanity in. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I'm excited to wear this this fall.